Hey, I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm working on here. A uh, condenser for the van. I already took the old one out. I didn't video that. I thought about it after I already took it out. So anyway, there's the old one. It's got, if you can see the, there's a couple big dings in it where there's holes in it, so it's leaking. And here's the new one. I've got it preset. I've got, it come with studs. I put the studs in there. Let's go over here. The connectors here on the tubes. I put the new ones on there. It came with new ones of those, new seals. So I put them on there. This little bracket right there, all it is a little plastic piece that just clips on to the condenser. And if you look way down in there, it just sets in that little piece right there. So there's really, the only thing that's really holding it on is the two pipes or two hoses on each side and then the little clips and that's it. And this side, apparently it still had some of the dye in there when I had it taken and get tested to see if it had a leak, which it did. Apparently it still had some in it because when I popped those seals, it went shooting stuff everywhere. So I had to go buy new O-rings for this side. You can kind of tell there's no O-rings on there. So I've got to get the new O-rings on there. And then there's the clip for there. It just pinches right there together and it's all that holds it on there. And then there's the two hoses for that side, which they will hook on to right here. And then here's the little piece, the little clip goes into and clips on. I am using a 19 on the nuts. No, I'm sorry. The 19 is on the other side were the ones that are already on the hoses. Those are the, that's the 19 there. This side was a 13 millimeter. I've got it chucked in there because it just takes these little nuts that screw on and holds that clamp in place on that other hose. So it's a 13 socket on that side and then a 19 on which you got to use a wrench on the other side and here's the o-rings and i bought a pack this universal pack because they didn't have just those by themselves so i had to get a universal pack to get the new o-rings so i'm gonna put the new o-rings on them hoses put them in the back brackets and then we'll get it place and we'll go from there okay i got the new seals on there if you can see them down there they're green so I got them on there. So now I'm gonna do uh, slide the condenser in place. Uh, you have to, I'm not gonna be able to do this and show you, but you gotta kind of slide it in at an, an angle and then tip it underneath this because this gets in the way. So you've gotta slide it in there at an angle and then kind of stand it up. So let me get that in there. Now what I did find was easier, take the headlight out and put these in first all the way and then use your, snap your pipes in, and you've got your little rings here to clip back in, holds it in place, little snap rings. But I could not get them things in there by themselves or with them already attached, so I had to detach them. But I put them in there first, get them tightened down, and then run your pipe in there, and then put your clips in there. Take the headlight out, you can access this a lot easier. Okay, here it is. Got everything hooked back up. All the tubing and everything hooked back up. These little clips right here are not wanting to hold it real well. So I think I may just run a couple zip ties around there just kind of help. Because all they are is just some cheap plastic. I mean, it's an 06. So I mean, the vehicle's old. But the plastic is just not going to hold it, I don't think. I'm afraid it's going to fall loose and pop loose. So, but you can see down in there, it's sitting in them little rails. And then it clips right there same thing on their side you get a little rail down there and then you get a little clip right here but it doesn't doesn't really want to hold real sturdy not enough to make me feel like it's going to be safe just got to take this now and um and we'll take it to an actual shop and let them refill it with freon and pressure test it and everything and double check all my connections make sure i installed it properly but this was way cheaper to order this and do this myself because you could save on the labor because it's kind of labor intensive not as bad as some of them though. I mean, it's just, it's all access. I just took the top cover off here. I just had some screws on here to hold it in place. And just, this thing just pops right out once you disconnect the four hoses, so. But there you go.
Hey, thanks for checking out the video. If you want to see more videos, just uh, click over here and um, check them out. Also, uh, please uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. Um, share with your friends. Like it. And remember to strive to be the person your dog already thinks you are. Until next time.